Galloping is different. This is where everything kind of like changes. Uh, between the meat eaters and the plant eaters, mostly. Um, so horses uh, do what we call a transverse gallop, uh, which means, what's next? And dogs and cats do, uh, can do, uh, what's called a rotary gallop. I wonder if I actually have this or if I should draw it. Um, so, uh -huh. so um, if you've got a horse body and its four legs and its head, <laughs> and a cat with its body and its four legs, um, a transverse gallop means if you start from the back, which is easy, you know, to do and you put down your back left foot first, um, the next thing you do is put down your back right foot, and then you cross over and you put down your front left, then your front right, and then you're back to the beginning. So you make this kind of cross pattern. So if you're in a rotary gallop, as you probably guessed, you go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. That's the pattern that the, the footfalls make. Um, The kind of the bigger thing almost to remember, because dogs and cats do a lot of transverse gallops. They do it a lot of the time when they're just at a, you know, kind of galloping. They're not really sprinting. In a full sprint, they'll change to the rotary. I'm not quite sure why. It might again have to do with the comfort of the feet and where they're going. Um, because dogs and cats use their backs in their galloping uh, way more than like horses or cows or these herbivores that have these stiff backs. So these animals that have eat plants, they need these big guts to digest their plants with over a long time. So they need this big structure to hold it all together. This sort of stable, that's why horses are like cars. They don't bend too much in the back because they're like big belly and they just drive around. <laughs> so their, so their um, solution to getting away from the dogs and the cats is to grow these long legs, right? So they can run fast on their long legs. So the dogs and cats, they eat meat, it digests very uh, fast. Um, they don't have to eat all the time. They have a smaller stomach that can expand and they go sleep under a tree. Um, so their backs, they don't have to support this whole big gut thing, this whole big fermentation thing that's happening. So their, their backs can be very bendy. So when a dog and a cat runs, it uses its back It bends its back as part of the stride. So a, a cat galloping is kind of almost galloping from the middle of its back, not just its hips. It uses its back to, to bend up into this shape and then spring off it, like whoosh, release all that energy from the back and it stretches out like that. So that's why they, it's because of what they eat and how they're made and how flexible their backbones are as to you know, how that gallop is different. And it means all sorts of other things happen. So this is a dog and a horse. 